Hello everyone, if your My Hero Ultra Rumble is not launching, you keep getting lag or stutter or FPS spikes or the game is just not even launching at all, you're having a blank screen or nothing, then you have come to the right place because in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can fix those annoying My Hero Ultra Rumble errors. So first, what we need to do is of course get the easy step out of the way which is to go ahead and just flat out restart our computer and try to launch the game then and if that doesn't fix the issue then what you need to do is you can try to right click on your game go into properties and install files and verify integrity of game files and check if that fixes the issue if it doesn't fix the issue then what you need to do is click on the browse right here and then go into heroes game go into binaries right here win64 and try to launch the game from the directory right here not and not from steam maybe that could fix the issue but if that still doesn't fix your issue then what you can do is you can try to run the game into compatibility mode right click on your game go into properties go into compatibility mode here click run this program in compatibility mode and then set it to windows 7 click disable full screen optimizations run this program as an administrator and click ok right here and then launch the game and see if that fixes your issue or if that doesn't fix your issue you can try to delete the saved game files of your my hero ultra rumble you can do that by opening up your explorer going to C program files 86 go into steam and then go into user data and here go into this folder and go into config right here for library cache and here you need to delete this file 1607250 just delete that file and launch the game then and check if that fixes your issue or if that doesn't fix your issue then what you can try is Try to disable the steam overlay on your game because sometimes steam overlay does glitch games you can do that by right clicking on your game go into properties and here just click this to disable the steam overlay while you're in game and then click delete right here and once that's done try to play the game if that still doesn't work then what you can try is you can check if you have MSI Afterburner or RTSS enabled you can disable those overlay programs because they could be having an issue with the game so you can go ahead and just disable those programs and then you can try to run the game and check if that fixes your issue if that still doesn't fix your issue then what you can do is you can try to set your game to run on your primary graphics card so you can do that by opening up the start menu writing here graphics settings and then click desktop app right here and then go into browse and here go into your game program files 86 steam steam apps common and here my hero ultra rumble go into heroes game right here go into binaries win64 mhur my hero ultra rumble and click add right here and click options here and select this to high performance and click save on it and then try running the game with the game set on your graphics card and if that still doesn't work then what you can do is you can try to set the game to allow access from your windows firewall so you can do that by opening up your start menu and writing here windows firewall click on allow an app through windows firewall and here click on change settings click allow another app go into browse and here go on to your game directory again so program files 86 steam steam apps common my hero ultra rumble heroes game binaries win64 my hero ultra rumble click open right here and click add and if you get this that means your game is already on your firewall cancel this out and just scroll down until you find 
My Hero Ultra Rumble. Here you see it. Click enable on it. Go ahead and tick both of these. And click OK. Try to run the game with the game being in the Windows firewall. If that still doesn't fix your issue, then what you can do is updating your graphics card drivers using Windows Device Manager. Open up the start menu and write here Device Manager. And here, go into Display Adapters and right click on your graphics card and click on Update Driver. Click Search automatically for drivers. And if it says the best drivers for your device are already installed, you need to do it manually then. So just click close right here. Open up your web browser. And here, if you have an AMD graphics card, you'll search for AMD Adrenaline Edition. And here, click onto this link. And then click on download now. And here, you need to select your graphics card. And once you do that, click submit right here. And then download and install the graphics card driver. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you need to search for NVIDIA GPU drivers. And here, click onto this link. And here, fill in this form. So select your product type, your graphics card series, graphics card your windows system and click search right here and then click download right here and once you download and install your graphics card drivers go ahead and restart your computer and after you're done restarting then you can try playing the game if that still doesn't fix your issue then what you can do is try installing visual c drivers open up the web browser right here microsoft visual c++ Go into this link, latest support Visual C++ Which bit version of your Windows is, just open up this PC And here right click here and go into properties And here as you can see I have a 64 bit operating system So I'll go for 64 right here, I'll click on this But if you have a 32 bit operating system Then what you're gonna do is download this 86 version and install that so i'll just click on that and click download i'll install it once it's done downloading if that still doesn't fix your issue then what you can do is try check if your windows is fully up to date just open up the start menu right here check for updates press enter and here click on check for updates and let windows check for updates and if there are updates available download and install them and then go ahead and restart your computer and then once you're done with the restart open up steam and try playing the game and see if that fixes the issue if that still doesn't work then the last resort is to reinstall your game so right click on your game go on to manage click uninstall right here and then uninstall the game and wait for it to uninstall and once it's done uninstalling go ahead and restart your computer and after you're done with the restart open steam up and then click install on it and install the game again and check if reinstalling the game fixes the issue if that still doesn't fix your issue what you can try doing is increase the random access memory of your computer Open up the start menu and write at advanced system settings, enter and here click settings right under advanced and here go into advanced again and here click on programs and then click on change right here and untick this option automatically manage paging file size for all drives and here click on custom size and here you need to put half of your RAM in here so I'll check how much RAM my computer has open up my computer click properties and here you can see I have 12 gigs of RAM if you have 16 gigs of RAM you'll put 8 but since I have 12 I'll put 6 gigs so here I'll put 6144 6144 again and click OK right here 
click OK right here again. Click OK here. Click OK here. And then click Restart now right here. And once your computer is done restarting, open up Steam, try playing the game and check if that fixed your issue. And if that still doesn't fix your issue, then what you can do is open up your web browser again. Right here, create media installation windows 10 and then click on create installation media for windows and here select the operating system that you want so windows 10 for me and here we're gonna scroll down and click on download tool now and we're gonna download and install this tool click open here click yes and wait for it to do its thing and here click accept wait for it to do its thing again And here you need to click on upgrade this PC now and click next. And it will start downloading the Windows. And after that's done, it will install your Windows and check if that fixes your issue. If it did, then make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.